Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we're following tonight. Poverty is the worst form of violence. We have to do this for our families in this state. Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely was joined by Governor Gretchen Whitmer to discuss investing millions into safe, affordable housing in Michigan. This builds off the governor's announcement yesterday to use American Rescue Plan money to refill the Michigan Housing and Community Development Fund. Since 2008, Flint alone has lost more than 2,000 affordable housing units. Communities First, a local nonprofit, says funds from the governor's proposed plan would give more than 6,000 Michigan families a place to call home. Governor Whitmer says the investment will help jumpstart the state's economic comeback. People know this is the place to come to. We just want to make sure when they do, they've got great housing options for every person who calls Michigan home. The funds will be distributed based off metrics like poverty and economic distress. New details as more hospital systems announce vaccine mandates for employees. Ascension, owner of St. Mary's in Saginaw and Genesis in Grand Blanc Township, is requiring all employees to be fully vaccinated by November 12th. Spectrum and Beaumont Health are also issuing vaccine mandates for all employees, volunteers and medical providers at their hospitals. Vaccine mandates are controversial even among health care providers. TV5 reached out to the Michigan Nurses Association with Ascension for comment. Its statement reads in part, these decisions are best decided democratically among health care workers, especially at a time when our hospital continues to be inappropriately staffed. We want to make sure no nurses are terminated because they are unable to take the vaccine. But another organization disagrees. The Healthcare Association of Michigan says in part, as facilities across Michigan monitor the impact of the Delta variant, the association supports those providers who mandate the COVID vaccine for employees. And now here's Brian with a look at our forecast. Thanks very much, Meg. What do you say as we wrap up the work week tomorrow? We just take a break from the storms and why not make it more comfortable too? I'd say we've earned it at this point based on the way this last week has gone here in Michigan. Unfortunately, that's exactly where we're going. Next 24 hours will be dominated by this secondary cold front working its way out of the Mackinac Straits tonight, cutting across the state by tomorrow morning, and that's just going to usher in not just a milder air mass. We're going to see our temperatures scale back from these frequent low to mid 80s that we've seen and go on a stretch of prolonged highs in the 70s into the start of next week. But more critically, we're going to take all this stifling humidity out of the equation, too. And while it might not be the most typical start to the month of August, it's going to at least be a refreshing one, especially in the next 24 hours. Hour by hour forecast for this evening can't rule out a quick passing shower, maybe in an extreme case, a slightly heavier downpour, possibly even an isolated rumble of thunder. But don't bank on it. Not something to plan your evening around. And then more importantly, just about all of that activity is gone by the time we hit midnight. You see that little outpouring of clouds during the overnight period between about midnight and 8 a.m. that rolls in off of Lake Huron. I suspect what's going to happen there is as our winds shift into more of a due northerly direction overnight and we see some of that cooler air come in with a passing cold front, it's likely to drag some marine air in off of Lake Huron and lead to at least a smattering of some low clouds, mainly for you folks across the thumb. And with some of the greens you saw popping up in there too, maybe at worst a few areas of some light sprinkles or brief misty conditions. But as you can see, it's all gone by the time we're hitting the morning commute hour at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And our Friday is just looking fantastic. Mostly sunny skies into the lunch hour. Same story as we head into the middle of tomorrow afternoon. And why not? We'll just keep that going into the dinner hour tomorrow evening. Absolutely gorgeous end to the work week. Nice way to kick off the weekend, but we will again be looking out for some scattered storms as we start to look ahead toward the first half of the weekend before tonight. Give the air conditioner a break. It's going to be a little muggy early, but when that cold front comes on through, temperatures will take a dip into the upper 50s by morning. The humidity will start to scale out of the picture. We'll even have a north wind at 6 to 12 miles per hour and a gorgeous way to wrap up the work week tomorrow. 74 the high, mostly sunny skies, a north wind coming in at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Just plain beautiful. We'll watch for some scattered storms to return on Saturday afternoon, but not a dramatic bump in temperatures. We'll still see a high of 77 isolated showers, otherwise mostly sunny on Sunday with a high of 74 and three more days with plentiful sunshine Monday through Wednesday of next week and highs staying pleasant in the middle to upper 70s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.